Hello and good morning. So, today I have decided that I am going to take myself out on a little date. Because why not? Um, there's a movie at the cinema that I would like to see and it's called What's Love Got To Do With It? with Lily James and Emma Thompson and I'm sure very a lot of other people. I saw the trailer a few weeks ago and I wanted to watch it and it was only out in cinemas, not in streaming services. So I'm like, you know what? I haven't been to the movies in a hot minute and I don't necessarily need someone to go with. It's a movie that I want to watch. I'm going to have a little date to myself because I've been around people a lot recently and it can get very intense. So I've decided I'm going to go into the city and go to the movies and take you along with me because why the hell not? Um, I've gone for like a little Miss Honey vibe today apparently. I didn't really realise I was doing it but um, I'll give you a little outfit check in a minute. So I'm going to catch the ferry into the city and we'll see where the day takes us. Let's go. Outfit check. Alright, I have decided to walk to the ferry and it is like 15 minutes away. And it also is 32 degrees in the height of summer. I may regret this and I will become a horrible sweaty mess at the end of this walk, but let's go. <laughs> Catching the ferry into the city, I found a little markets on the way, which was nice. I went and I saw what's love got to do with it, and I really liked it. I think I gave it like three and a half stars on Letterboxd. It was cute. It was a good. It was like a friends to lovers story, and I always, those are my favorite ones. So the film is about this girl played by Lily James, who decides to make a documentary about the fact that her like childhood friend and next door neighbor has decided that he's going to have an arranged marriage and like his parents are going to help him arrange it because it's like a part of his culture and he wants to have an arranged marriage and she's like that's interesting I'm gonna make a documentary about it because she makes documentaries. I did while I was getting boba I finished my a book that I was reading on Libby called Carmilla. Um, I can't remember who it's by at this very point in time but yeah everyone it's a classic vamp lesbian vampire story. Um, I don't know if it was meant to be lesbian when they wrote it because you know how sometimes history doesn't realise that they're writing about lesbian couples. Um, I'm sure the author knew but everyone else was just like, oh, they're just really good chums kind of thing. But yeah, I was just reading that one slowly. It took me like 20 days to do. Like I was just reading it like 10 pages at a time kind of thing. Um, I enjoyed it. I liked it a lot better than Dracula. It was a lot easier to read. The women weren't just wasting away. I'm curious as to like, there's like a motherly character for Camilla. She like plants Camilla in someone's household and then just dips and I'm like, who is this woman that just is meant to be her mother? Is she human? Is she not? I don't even know. But I think I give that one three or three and a half, I think three stars on um, Goodreads. I'm also currently reading Cemetery Boys. Um, again, don't know who the hell that's by. Um, and then I'm also, I also picked up Austin Land, which is, I didn't realize it was a book. It is my favorite one of my favorite movies is the movie Austin Land. It is such a wholesome story and I love it so much. It's just about this like 
Pride and Prejudice enthusiast, this girl who's a Pride and Prejudice enthusiast, and she decides she wants to have the Pride and Prejudice experience. So she goes to like England, she's American, and she goes to England and she like goes to this place where they like perform, like actors pretend to be um, men from the 1800s kind of thing. And then the women dress up in like gowns and stuff. And I, I love it so much. I didn't realize it was a book. It's produced, the movie's produced by Stephanie Meyer. And I've, I mean, that just, I love that so much. Like, thank you, Stephanie Meyer, for producing my favorite film. But yeah, if Stephanie Meyer has done anything for this world, it's seen the potential that the book Austin Land has and decided, you know what, I'm gonna make that into a film. Um, but yeah, so I am just started reading that because I finished Camilla, so I'm like, I need another book to be reading because I'm listening, I'm listening to Cemetery Boys on audiobook. So again, I'm getting it from Libby, but I'm just listening to it on audiobook. Um, but yeah, so I wanted something physical to read. And I'm also reading Cinder by someone. Um, I'm not too sure. But yeah, so I'm like 80 pages into that. But I just read that on a night kind of thing. I don't know if I'm liking Cinder yet. I mean, I'm not disliking it, but I haven't like gotten into the story a lot. Like, I, it's just weird. I don't know how it's... I, I can't see how it's got any similarities with C Cinderella, like, except for the fact that she has a stepmother and two stepsisters, and there's a prince. Um, but I don't, I'm interested to see what the connections are there. I feel like it's a very loose adaptation. I don't know. Like, obviously, it's about a cyborg woman. But also, why? I don't understand how having a prosthetic arm and leg makes you a cyborg. In the book like yeah i get it they're like machines and like she has stuff in her brain i suppose but like someone who just like got a, a like a prosthetic arm that can move on its own why does that make them not human anymore i just don't like that aspect maybe there's something to do with it but i don't that's kind of like making me go um i don't know but i don't know maybe i'm just a bit thick so those are my current reads um i just thought i'd give you a little insight um, I've read quite a few books this year already, and it's only, um, late January. Um, but I've already read, like, five books. I'm gonna do, like, a January wrap-up thing, so I'm not really gonna tell you all about it. But yeah, I don't know how long this vlog will be. I think it'll be under ten minutes. A little, a quick little seven-minute vlog. I was having a cute day yesterday, so I thought I'd just do a little video of it and just, I don't know, give me something to do, personally. But yeah, I had a nice day yesterday. I've never, never went to the cinemas alone before, I don't think. And it wasn't bad, it wasn't weird at all. I just felt like I was just sitting and watching a movie at home. Like I do that all the time. Why can't I go out and just have a little day of it, make a day of it? But anyway, um, there's quite a few movies that I wanna see this year. Yeah, so I might, I'm gonna probably have a few little mini solo dates where I just go to the movies and watch a movie that I wanna see. Tickets are only like $9 at the Cineplex, so that's good, that's good stuff. Other the places it's like $20. And I'm like, all right, I don't need to see the movie that bad. Um, yeah, so I guess this is my little outro. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next one.